Hi, my name is Song. I'm the creator of Tower Defense Toolkit. In this video, I'm going to talk about the perk system of Tower Defense Toolkit. Um, it's a relatively new addition as of version 2.2. Um, it's a pretty cool addition, I have to say. I'm really fond of it. So let's get started. And we'll start with the perk editor since this is where you should get started anyway. And here we are and you got this box here which display all the perks you have create or modify and you can select them by clicking on them and the bottom of it shows all the information of that perk you have selected right so yeah you can delete perk by doing so but I don't want to delete any of this so by the way all these are the perks used in the demo right they are not very well designed i have to say some of them are pretty random but i'm sure you can do a better job than me um, and you delete them by doing so right so uh, important thing you have to save every time if you change anything if you want that change to take place um, in the game otherwise all your save will be lost as soon as you close this window so always save right and then now we get to um, the information of every individual perk so let's take an example say live regen right first off you have the icon you can assign a default icon or you can choose not to it doesn't matter but um, if you have a icon your UI will look much nicer if you use um, the default UIs anyway and you can assign an, a two additional icon for the unavailable and unlocked status of the perk um, you can give it a name and then choose a type um, this is live generation obviously but if we choose a new one and see there's plenty to choose from but um, I have to say it's far from finished I expect to see this list extend a lot more so feel free to give me any suggestion or comment about well, what can we do here and I myself had quite some idea to add on still so this feature is actually far from finished but yeah that's what it is for now and then we move on from here you have the requirement for the perk I have to say this as well but we'll get to that first off we have the cost how much does it cost to unlock or purchase this perk um, I keep saying perk but actually this can be viewed as a tag or indeed a one-off item because some of them are repeatable you can set them to be repeatable let's say um, lifeline this here give you straight away life bonus so obviously you can repeat them as long as you have the cost right and then we get to the minimum wave requirement which means uh, at which wave should this perk or item be unlocked or become available and then we have the minimum perk requirement which means how many perk should have been purchased or unlocked before this particular selected perk here become available right and finally we have the prerequisite perk which means what perk uh, the player should unlock before this perk becomes available in this case you can say I'll use this as an example MG2 will require MG1 and MG3 will require MG2 right you can add multiple one in fact I can say okay it requires Canon 1 2 and then uh, it will need laser 2 a laser 1 also why not so as you can see all the uh, required per are highlighted in blue as soon as this guy is selected so Canon 2 only requires Canon 1 so only Canon 1 is selected yeah so as you can see from all this minimum wave perk and prerequisite perk requirement uh, we can construct very interesting things here such as a, a tier based progression system or a full on tech tree yep uh, it's up to your imagination uh, if you have any idea that uh, there's a, any more I can do with this feel free to let me know um, as I've said I'm, this is still pretty much an unfinished feature and I expect to expand a lot more on it 
and yeah and now back to where we were um, and finally at this bit here you will have all the modifier uh, related to the to the um, perk itself if it have any uh, for instance this one it is a specific tower buff attack which means certain to the chosen tower would have would have have their attack damage buff so you can choose the tower for now of uh, oh right uh, I'll shut this first because there's only one tower in the tower manager so obviously if you have a lot of tower there will have been a lot of tower to choose from um, why it won't show up yeah okay so let's get back to it what have I done okay it's getting pretty wonky I'm not sure why okay okay it's working again uh, I have to say the recording software is messing up my window from time to time but here we are back again so we choose cannon tower to buff the attack and rightly so because it says here it increased cannon tower damage by 10% and then we put in the value uh, 0.1 that means 10 so uh, whenever you choose the modifier type to percentage this can only take values from 0 to 1 if you want it to be uh, working correctly anyway uh, I haven't put a limiter of any sort to it so you can effectively put any number you want in it if you accidentally put 10 it would means increase the damage by 1000% so it's up to you to make sure the value is right and of course uh, if you have percentage you can change it to numerical which means if you put 1 then every time a tower makes an attack the attack would cause plus one damage whatever damage whatever the original damage plus one I'm not going to go through all this detail right um, you can read from here the tower description so pretty much all the perk you have here have an explanation here so in this case regeneration it says regenerate how much from in second so you can just change whatever you want and then if the perk has anything to do with resource of course uh, resource will appear instead of regular value right so that's pretty much it about the editor but as you can see it is quite powerful if not um, all powerful yet at this point but it is functional and then we get on to the UI so um, in order for the perk manager to work in one uh, one scene you have to make sure it contain at least one um, perk manager in the scene otherwise um, nothing will happen okay it's there so like every other major component uh, game controls format there can be only one perk manager in the scene and it looks like this uh, it's pretty much only there to tell you that to let you customize uh, which item you want to enable in this level like say you you can disable all right um, and just enable this first tree let's say this is the very first level you don't want to allow player too many choice so let's start slow by only allow three or in fact just allow the mg1 cannon one and laser one so they start low and then as the level progress further you unlock more yep that's just an idea right so that's perk manager it's fairly straightforward at self explanatory pretty much everything about the perk system uh, is very straightforward you can ex you, you know what it does straight from the look the only thing that might get a bit tricky is the perk UI so especially this perk group so I'm gonna explain it a bit it'd be better if we just look at the examples um, I'll start with this one here so if you look at the perks manager this one only allow this few perks over here so what this few perk does is 
كود تمام اوكي الحين اسمه بي Okay, never mind. I'll explain it. Um, what happened here is these two here would have a minimum requirement of minimum three perks before they can be unlocked. Well, all this doesn't have any. So when you run, it looks like this. Oop, I should have gone full screen. And I should have used icon only. So it's less messy. So as you can see, so these five uh, these five items here, you can unlock them anytime you want. But these two here will only become available after you have three perk points. So if I unlock this and this and this, these two will become available. So you can see that's just one of the idea. But uh, we're getting sidetracked here. I'm, I meant to explain this hook group thing. So as you can see, you can in fact label them or group them in some way. Let's say this is tier 1, okay, and this is tier 2. So you can put them in, in that way. You just need to do this, um, define how many group there is. Um, how many items in that group and the name of the group and it works uh, in this way you um, the first perk in the perk editor get displayed first so that means the this five item here will have been the first five item appear here so if I enable this instead you will see this appears in the first group and then if anything over these two get pushed to tier 2 and anything in original in the tier 2 get pushed to ungroup mem to ungroup perks right so it's not very sophisticated but that's all I can do for now I look to improve this system um, some in, in any future updates but at this point it's up to you to get this right and other than that you have the space y and space x spacing and max item per row how many items per row you want ideally we want five um, for the original uh, setting anyway since this tree won't be available so you have five items per tier all right looks looks about right so yeah that's the ui for you and you can look at the ngui counterpart but it's pretty much the same so if i add the ngui menu so ignore this so if you look here it still have the exact same thing but it's not defined properly of course i, I wasn't using this okay and these are just the game object assignment but i figure uh, if you're going to use it at this it anyway, you're not going to fiddle with any of this So that's pretty much it for the perk uh, system. I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing I think it's pretty cool and Anyway, like I said feel free to give me any comment or suggestion I'm very happy to implement any exciting stuff right and that's it for now um, Thanks for watching